this experiment, we will be making elephant toothpaste. To follow along at home, you will need aqueous 30% hydrogen peroxide, liquid dish soap, liquid water, and solid potassium iodide. To protect your hands and eyes, you should also wear goggles and gloves. To run the reaction, we suggest using a graduated cylinder, either 500 or 1000 milliliters. Optionally, simple food coloring will make this experiment more visually appealing. You will also need a small spatula for your solid potassium iodide. 30% hydrogen peroxide is an aggressive oxidizer, and the iodide and potassium iodide can stain skin, clothing, and your workspace. Begin by adding about 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide to your graduated cylinder. Next, add about 10 milliliters of dish soap. Now you must create a saturated solution of potassium iodide in water. The solubility of potassium iodide is about 14 grams per 10 milliliters at room temperature. Since this reaction is messy, it might be a good idea to use some kind of capturing container. Add 10 milliliters of saturated potassium iodide solution, swirl to mix, and stand back. What's happening here is known as a decomposition reaction. Two moles of hydrogen peroxide split into two moles of water and one mole of oxygen gas. The oxygen gas formed by the reaction is being trapped by the soap, so as more and more oxygen is created, the volume of the foam grows. At room temperature, hydrogen peroxide decomposes very slowly, too slowly for any useful reaction. So a catalyst is added to speed up the process. Iodine for the potassium iodide bonds with one of the oxygen atoms to form OI- and water. This OI- shares its oxygen atom with another oxygen atom from hydrogen peroxide to form an oxygen molecule and another water. The iodide atom is isolated once again. To see how these reactions are the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, simply cross out the terms appearing on both sides and add the equations together.